Howdy folks, Todd here with Great Escape Farms. Today we are going to remove this IBC tote from the cage and paint it so that it looks like this. And the reason we're doing that is so we don't get algae growth in here. I've been using this one and you can see there's plenty of light in here as well as plenty of algae growth already. And this one over here I've already done and it's ready to go back into its cage right there. And you can see most of the light is not coming through here and that will help it a lot and if you stick around towards the end of this video we'll show you a couple different ways to wrap the ibc toad in plastic versus painting and let me run over the process so first thing we're going to do is remove the tote and this is all the stuff i'm going to show you in the video so we're going to remove the tote from the cage and get it out and then we are going to wash it because as you well hopefully you can see in the video here there's just like crud and stuff on the outside then we are going to give it a light sand uh just with some hand sanding uh, on the paper or hand paper and then we are going to spray paint some primer paint and that's going to be a dark color black and if we left the black on it would get very very hot so at that point we're going to come back with the white and as you'll see in the video one coat of white isn't enough because you'll see all the streaks so a second coat helps keep some of the sun out as well as makes it look better and then we're going to put it back into the cage and set it up for some rainwater harvest so let's go ahead and get moving and let's take this one out of the cage okay real quick let me explain the process of what we're going to do so these two straps up on the top need to come out and they are held on with star bits there so that is what the star bit looks like or what the star screw looks like this is what the actual bit itself looks like. And we, we need to remove both sides and it is held in by this little plastic piece right here, at which point we need to kind of maneuver this around, turn it sideways. We have to lift it up over top of this once we get the screws out and then turn it sideways and pull it out. Let's see if I can, yeah, that pops off nice and easy. I want to show is the centerpiece here because here's where it gets tricky. You just pull it straight through. It's not going to turn. You just have to turn it sideways and maneuver it and then it comes out. Okay and the easiest way I found to get this out it, once the top supports are off is to just lay it sideways and give it a good pull. So let me do that. Okay so we have this out and there's the cage which we will use again later we have a several day rain going on right now so i just kind of let them soak and then i went at it just with a soft brush like one you would wash a car with and went over it and then rinsed it off okay so they were washed yesterday in the rain and rinsed and i brought them in the garage and they dried so i just brought out some sandpaper and I sanded the tops and or the top and the sides and this is 220 grit sandpaper I would have used anything that I had this uh, just in the uh, spirit of using what I have this is something I had left over from another project so I went ahead and used the 220 grit and I roughed up the edges all the way around in preparation for spray paint and then I came along with a uh, uh, moist paper towel so it wasn't wet I put it under the sink and then I drained it out as much as I could I went ahead and I wiped it down I'm going to give it about 20 minutes or so to dry off and then we're going to get on with some spray paint and what we're going to use for spray paint is a it's a matte black but the main reason I wanted this is it works on plastic and it is a primer as well as a paint and I wanted a dark color to block out the sun and it acting as a primer after I put this on and it dries a day later or so, I'll put some white paint over it. So. so I spray painted, I did one can on each and it's very spotty, I was running out of spray paint. So I put in a little heavier on the top here and couldn't do quite as much on the side because it is a primer, I wasn't too worried about it because I will put additional paint over top of it. I would have liked to have been completely black like this right here everywhere, but unfortunately not. So let me go ahead and uh, the next coat I'm gonna do with, with white, where is it? There it is right here. I'm gonna do this 
with a brush. So I had this for another project. I'm going to redeploy it to this project and hopefully this will work for me. Okay, so this one has the black the with the primer and the black color, but it gets very hot in the sun. So I'm going with white and you can see it looks like crap with one coat. And if you look in here, there's a lot of light in here. And with one coat, it's still light, but it's a little darker. So I'm going to do a second coat on this. Okay, we have a second coat on both of these now. And you can see it looks much better from the outside. And if we look down in there, you can tell there's still a little bit of daylight, but nowhere near what there was before. And I still see a little bit over on that side over there and a couple other spots where you get some shadows and we may be able to cover those up. And actually when they're sitting on that, we have a solid bottom that they're on. We also have the corners here that actually help provide a little bit of shade as well. So hopefully that will give us enough. I'll go ahead and move these in here. I'm risking scratching these, but because I didn't wait for the paint to fully dry. I mean, that's dry, but it should wait actually probably a week or two before I go putting them in. I may scratch it up a little bit and I'll just do some touch up on those if that's the case. And as I expected, I had a couple pieces or a couple areas where I scraped the paint off when I was putting the IBC tote back in the cage and also had a couple areas like there that I took some paint off when I was putting the top support arms in. By the way, make sure you put these back in and make sure you put the uh, IBC tote back in the cage itself. That will give a lot of support when you're carrying all the weight from the water. And here's another area that I need to do some touch up from sliding back in. And I now have two of them in place here. And the third one I'm still working on, I'll have that put over there. Let me show you one other option. So here we have wrapped an IBC tote in plastic. And we, we did it kind of the easy way. We had the plastic, it didn't cost us anything. And we just went ahead and we wrapped the outside cage and all. And yeah, it doesn't look the prettiest in all the world, but it's worked for actually four years. So it's been wrapped around for four years. You can see it is starting to fray here and the plastic is just starting to tear up on us. A better way to do this, which will actually have it last longer, is to do like we did earlier in the video and remove the bladder of the IBC tote itself, the plastic part from the frame. So go ahead and remove the plastic and once it's removed, go ahead and wrap just the bladder itself in the pla whatever black plastic or whatever color you have. And then what I did is I duct taped it down near the bottom and then put it back into the cage and put it back in. And it lasts much longer that way. So this is a very good way of blocking out light and it will work very well if you have the plastic. Again, I am on a budget this time and it was cheaper just to go with a couple cans of spray paint and use the other white paint that I already had laying around versus going out and buying another roll of plastic because I did not have the plastic right now. Previously, I did have an excess of plastic from another project I was working on and that's why I went with that way. So that is it for this video. We have a whole playlist on rainwater harvest. You can see this is one right here as well as the the previous system that I'd shown you and we also have some larger ones so go ahead and check out our playlist